Hello, this is John Bauerschmidt at the Diocese of Tennessee speaking today about the season of Advent. Four Sundays at the very beginning of the Christian year, which really mark out in a really solemn way the uh, preparation of the church for the celebration of Christmas. And so we really focus in the season of Advent on two comings of Christ into the world. The first, of course, we're very familiar with because of our celebration of Christmas, and that is Christ's coming to be born in Bethlehem, born of a human mother, coming in humility uh, to be one of us uh, as a human being and to be the Messiah. The celebration of Christmas, of course, the great uh, annual commemoration of this event. Uh, Advent, in this sense, is the preparation for that birth as we celebrate it in the liturgy on Christmas Day. But there's also a second uh, sense in which uh, we celebrate Advent, and that is the coming of Christ at the very end of time, uh, coming again in power and great glory to wrap up time. So Advent is also our time of preparation for that coming of Christ at the very end of time. Partly, the word Advent refers to something that uh, we look back into history to discover. Advent, it's a word that means uh, coming or approach or appearance. And when people in Jesus' day talked about Advent, they were talking about the coming of the emperor or the emperor's representative to appear in a city to do the business of, of the empire. And so imagine that day of Advent in a city, one of the great cities of the Mediterranean world. Advent, Adventus is what they called it. And so the great person would appear and enter into the city. The city councilors would all be arrayed in white robes. There would be court ceremonial observed. And everybody would turn out to see the coming of the emperor or the emperor's representative. It was a great solemn occasion. And everybody was on the edge of expectation. People would scan the horizon for the approach of the emperor. Nobody wanted to be in the wrong place when the emperor showed up. And the whole city would turn out a great ceremonial occasion. And this is, this is the advent that people in Jesus' day would have had in mind, this great approach of the king or the emperor to the city. It was an event that shook everything up. Nobody wanted to be caught napping with the advent of the emperor. And so, when we think about Christ coming again at the end of time, we're, we've got several words in mind. One would be watchfulness. One would be attention. One would be prayer as we wait for Jesus coming again in power and great glory. Watchfulness for what's coming. We all want to be in the right place. We all want to be ready to welcome Lord of time and history, Jesus Christ himself. I hope during the season of Advent, during these, this season of four Sundays that we have to prepare for Jesus' coming, not simply as a child born, laid in the manger, born of a human mother, but also Jesus, that same Jesus coming again at the end of time. We want to be watchful, we want to be paying attention, we want to be prayerful and full of hope.